Hi, my name is Bradley Drummond. I'm the Director of Application Engineering and Consultant Relations here at LEA Professional. And today I'm going to show you how to connect to our amplifiers using a static IP. So first we need to connect to the amplifier via its AP mode. So I've already pressed the Wi-Fi button on the back. That LED is showing blue, uh, showing that the amplifier is in AP mode. I looked at the IP address on the front, got it all connected to my laptop. Uh, so now I'm gonna go into the settings here under uh, network and we're gonna set a static IP on the amp. So first you click on this button here for the network settings. Now under Ethernet, we're going to disable DHCP and we're going to type in our own IP address. So let's use 10.10.1.1. Now at the top right corner here, we click save. So now it saves this DHCP setting to the amplifier. Now what we're gonna do is press the Wi-Fi button on the back of the amplifier. Now the LED turns off and the amp is switching itself into wired Ethernet mode. Now what you'll see on the front here as well is that the screen, uh, the IP address has changed to the 10.10.1.1 that we've entered into the amplifier. So now the amplifier is set with a static IP. I've gotta go into my PC here and update my PC to have a static IP in the same subnet range as the amplifier. My computer is now disconnected from the amp because I'm no longer connected on the AP mode. So what I've gotta do now is go into my network settings so click on network and internet settings. Click on change adapter options. We're gonna right click on ethernet and click on properties. Now you're gonna find internet protocol version four, TCP IP version four. Click on properties. Now we can click here, use the following IP address. So now I need to set my computer to something in the same subnet range, but not the same IP address that the amplifier set to. So let's use 10.10.1.2. Now I can tab into subnet mask. We can use the default settings that are here and you just click okay. So we can close all these windows out now. Now I can go back into my browser, type in the new IP address of the amplifier, 10.10.1.1. And now we are fully connected using a static IP on both the amplifier and my computer. So now you don't need any DHCP, you just use uh, any type of simple unmanaged switch like we have here. Both the computer and amplifier were connected uh, via ethernet cable and you're up and running with just a, you know, some cheap hardware and no need for DHCP. Uh, thanks for watching our video on how to connect to our amplifiers using a static IP. Follow us on our social media channels here on the side of the screen. Uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel with the link down below and looking forward to see you guys in another video.